Yeah, hi team. Good morning and good evening. Let us start the session now. Okay. So before this session, we're having the angular that we sorry react js that will be ended by the exact 7:30 to 8:30, maybe two three minutes. Please stay this link, same link only for the daily. Okay. So let us start with the angular. What is angular? So what it contains? What are the courses? Uh, I mean, what are the things we are going to be learning here? Uh? So let me quickly explain. Okay. So as a part of Angular, our target is to complete and learn about a web application. Okay. Okay. So in this web application, if I want to develop any web application, so I require a web technologies. I require a web technologies. What are the web technologies? Team, everyone, please unmute yourself and answer. What are the web technologies? HTML, CSS. HTML, CSS, JavaScript. HTML, CSS, CSS JavaScript. Bootstrap, Bootstrap, React, Bootstrap. Angular. So those are not a commander. So only web technologies are the three things. One is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay. So remaining are not a technologies. Those are the libraries or the framework. If I say Bootstrap, Bootstrap, hmm, developed by which company? Hope everybody know Twitter, right? Twitter. Develop as Twitter. Develop as CSS framework. Okay, so now we are going to be learning Angular. What is the Angular? Which is developed by Google company. So our Angular is a JavaScript framework. So only one and only framework. Okay, so Angular is one and only framework on top of our JavaScript. Okay. So in this one, what we are going to be learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript to next Angular. The our Angular using a TypeScript. So we are going to be learning about a TypeScript also, some libraries plus a real time project. Okay. So project, the project after one or two weeks later will start it. So we'll take a project from you only. So hope everybody, most of the members are working, right? So please let us know the project, project, whatever you are working. Same kind of the things, if you have any idea. So we'll work around. So as of now, we have complete real estate, insurance, healthcare domain, and a different domains also. Retail, ERP, these type of the domains we have completed each and every batch. We'll take some new project, here it is. Okay. So what are the pre-requirements if I want to start with the Angular for this to starting this Angular? No need to worry. So daily, whatever I'm going to be explaining it, simply practice and get it. That's it. Simply practice those things. Okay, complete on the daily basis. You no need to worry. Okay, so whatever I'm going to explain, uh, simply practice it. First, if I want to work with uh, Angular, first I need some software or not. Hmm, what are the softwares I need to install? First, I need to install a uh, Node.js. I need to install a uh, Node.js. Swati, do you have the idea about the softwares, right? What to be installed for this Angular? Or can I? Uh, no, I have no okay. idea. So first you need to install the Node.js. From where I need to get this Node.js? Open Google Chrome. Okay, after this session, I will send you the recording. You can able to follow this part. Okay, simply go to the browser and open Node.js. Okay, so here you are having the Node.js. Okay, so other than Swati, anybody new to the Angular? Yes, sir. Ram? Mm -hmm. yes, so I hope you came on the last week, right? Okay. So click on this Windows installer. Okay, Ram. So it will be download an exe file. Okay. Sir. Open this exe file. Open this exe file. Open when done. Okay, so see here. Here it will be showing some prompt, right? Click on the next, next, next. That's it. Okay, it is checking for the somewhat uh, the Node.js is available in my system or not. So simply click on the next, accept next. So no need to change anything. Okay, simply click on the next, next. So here no need to check anything. 
okay just only terms and conditions we need to be accept next and then click on the install so it will take five minutes and it will install clear okay so okay. already i have installed the node js i'm not doing it. it will take a five to ten minutes but based on the system performance sometimes it will take two three minutes also so two to eight in between seven minutes okay so installation is completed one node js is completed so this is the url simply type node js download node js okay so this is my url but why i'm downloading this node js any thing is there uh, our node js is the framework for example you want to develop an angular application no? so i have to install angular okay but the angular is the framework for this specifically no need to install for example i want to work with dot net or i want to work with java for example you want to work with whatsapp am i correct or not you need to install or not first you need to complete the installation okay so our node js is a please take the notes node js is a framework node js is a framework Node.js is the framework, same as your .NET and Java. Okay, so our Node.js is the framework. What is the purpose of a Node.js? By using a node js we can create build and run a angular application so if you want to work with the angular application i need to be use a node js this node js will help to create build and angular applications but no need to worry about to learn about this node js we no need to worry okay just we need to install that's it clear we need to install uh, that's it we no need to create or build or run uh, that's it we not need to be learn about this node.js so node.js is a framework uh, it can able to help uh, we to be create uh, build uh, and run my angular application okay so angular is a uh, application was set up okay for example you want this uh, setup uh, steps uh, so here uh, you can able to go to my website uh, so everybody having my website right uh, if you don't know please let us know go to the angular so angular setup expand this one uh, here we are having okay first uh, website also is there okay swati ram sorry so here i'm having the website so click on it so it oh, will can become you share me the link actually i don't know which okay will, will you text in whatsapp okay okay fine. so click on the download once uh, node.js was installer uh, after i need to be run the command called node space v so how to check node.js was installed or not yes or no we need to check or not so let me open a uh, command prompt uh, we'll send you that link uh, follow that steps node hyphen uh, node space uh, hyphen v what is my version 18.12 here it can be 18.12.1 anything can be fine okay so node.js was installed successfully okay after download uh, so follow this one node hyphen v okay next once i install the node automatically npm will be there what is mean by npm node package manager okay so it will be auto installed by the node js okay you can able to check that one also so simply open the again a command prompt okay so just to check just to to check it was successfully installed or not that's it npm space hyphen v so it will give us some version okay 8.19.2 so when i take the screenshot 5.6 it is very very old screenshot okay so node.js was installed successfully so once a uh, node.js was installed successfully then uh, now run the angular cmd command to install the angular it will install the latest version of the angular sir so where to be installed okay so simply open the command prompt okay globally we need to install okay open command prompt copy this command copy go here paste press enter 
So now it will install a Angular CLI. Okay, it will install Angular CLI. Any questions up to here? Clear? Swati, Ram, Balram. Yes, it clear. Uh, if it's not installed, then what should we do? Um, Which one? Once you are running the Node.js, you need to be click on the next, next, next. It will install. If it is not installed, means definitely it will install. Okay. Okay. If it is not installed, then call to me. I will check it. Okay. You are using the Mac? No. Windows only, right? Windows. Yes. So if it is a Mac, then click on the Mac installer. Windows means click on the Windows installer. Simply follow these steps which are mentioned here. Okay. Click on the download, press next, next, it will install. To check it is installed or not, open a command from check node hyphen space V. That's it. Okay. So once it is completed, next open the command prompt, run the CLI command to install the Angular. So it will install Angular latest version, CLI version. Okay. So leave about the warnings. Okay. Any warnings are you are getting? No need to worry. So it will take uh, hardly three to five minutes. Okay, next, see here, completed a uh, Angular CLI one installed, Angular was installed in my machine. So two installation is successful. Now I can able to create uh, and work with my Angular application. So if you want to work with Angular application, you need some platform or not. So if I want to type in the document, I need doc. So like this, uh, if you want to write a code where we can able to write a code. Okay, so to write a code, we need an some coding platform that is nothing but a visual studio code okay so from where i can able to get this visual studio code so second one is a uh, angular cli okay next software is a uh, visual studio code next software is a uh, visual studio code visual studio visible studio code press enter here you can able to go to the download okay so click on the download so able to notice the download windows mac okay so my one is the windows so click on this window so open this one click on directly install it will only single step Clear three installations. So here I have the two side. Actually, we are confusing which one side was joined. Actually, uh, three three sides are came for the inquiry. Sai, Oxar, my text is there. WhatsApp lo. Sai and Sai K, can you please text once in WhatsApp? Okay, go to Sai, Miru Sai, Sai K, text share. Sai, Sai Miru. So simply open this Visual Studio code and accept the agreement and accept the agreement. Next, no need to check. For example, you want to create a desktop shortcut, you can click on here. Otherwise, next, install. <clears throat> it also will take uh, three to five minutes and it will install. Clear about the software? Any questions? So which are the three requirements? Okay, so what are the softwares are required? So three softwares, what are the first one is? First one is yeah, please go ahead. What are the three softwares are required? First one is Node.js. 
எக்ஸாம்பிள் okay let me create mm. so how to create a, go to the address bar type cmd mm. what is the command ng for angular space new space so i given one angular ex1 let me give angular angular ex2 press enter so what i need to be do create angular project go to the specific uh, specific uh, folder and don't be create this folder on the desktop or c folder utilize every drf somebody something else okay go to the specific folder you need to be go to the address bar and address bar and type cmd it will open the command prompt run this command what is that command ng space small ng okay small ng space new space project name so how to create a project also explained here in the link clear so now now it will be create so would you like to add a angular routing press y it will add it so next it will ask for the four things css or scss scss lss so cursor up or down on ss is press enter that's it so you want to angular routing plus y and press it now it is creating a project okay so meantime installing let us see the background of our angular and things what is the purpose of angular why we are using angular Hmm. Use Dynamic. it to develop web applications. Okay, web applications. Now, what is a web application? Please note these points. What is a web application? Our web application is a web application is a software software developed developed by using a web technologies under Uh, run on a uh, run on web browser are you clear so our uh, web application is nothing but it's a software we can able to develop this software by using web technologies and run on web browser which which are the web browsers your chrome mozilla ie all Hi, these are uh, your web browsers okay next how many types of web applications are there so how many types of web applications are there two types what are those there are two types of web applications are there okay so what are those static next one is dynamic one is the static web application second one is the dynamic web application so static means how to develop this static application html and css if you want to develop application using html and css called static dynamic in the sense javascript static plus javascript by you further start dynamic static applications so if you adding the javascript it will become dynamic web applications there are two types one is a static second one is the dynamic okay static means your html plus css dynamic in the sense static plus javascript okay now what type of application we are developing by using angular we are using dynamic web applications 
we are developing what type of dynamic web application for example i want to develop a mobile application for the mobile application uh, we are using the ios development android develop it's a separate development okay it's a separate next so let us see it a uh, project is created almost till it is going okay so in the angular are we using javascript or something else so in the angular angular uses a type script but what about this type script is different from the javascript no type script a type script was developed developed from javascript javascript so type script is a developed by who by microsoft by the company called micro soft okay so our type script is a sugar coated syntax that's it sugar sugar coated syntax of javascript our type script is a sugar coated syntax of javascript type script is a sugar coated syntax of javascript now you got it right basically it is the javascript only but simply a small syntax changes that's it now so your typescript or javascript contains what are the concepts first take it as a comments comments next data types comments data types next functions next statements so these are what type of statements conditional or conditional statements are looping statements or loops next class etc like etc like storages timers okay cookies it is okay if you are able to know this one so your typescript or javascript is completed okay so most typescript is focusing on the data type that's it are you clear swati pravin pavan nagin ram balram yes i am clear okay swati yes, clear sir. any questions so your typescript or javascript contains a comments so data types so functions so statements so class and few other things okay sir the, sir ts and javascript uh, syntax uh, difference no ah, that's it typescript is a sugar coated syntax of javascript some syntax is changes okay sir okay so typescript was developed from javascript by microsoft only okay sir okay it's a sugar coated syntax when compared to the typescript when compared to javascript typescript was comfortable but everything is was uh, no almost 30 to 40 percent is only syntax difference so 60 to 70 percent is same javascript was using in the typescript only 30 to 40 okay now okay. my app project is created see for example if the git was not configured something will become here some warnings no need to worry package installed successfully my package was installed successfully that's it so no need to worry about these warnings okay team so no need to worry about this one so let us see my project let me grow, close here so my project is created yes see here here i can able to see now i need to be run this project so what is mean by running you want to load this project here or not here i'm opening my website or not okay here i'm opening or not like this i need to be run so to run this one what is the command okay so to run this one once a project is created uh, we need to use the command called uh, ng serve okay how to run angular project run a uh, angular project hmm. what is the command so to run this angular project uh, go to the project uh, project uh, folder uh, address uh, bar uh, and type cmd it will open command prompt in the command prompt you need to run the command called ng serve you need to run the command called ng serve so where is my project 
So Angular example two is my project. Go to the address bar. This is my address bar, right? Type CMD. It will open command prompt to and run the command called ng serve. What is that command? ng serve. So it will ask for something. So just to give y, y for yes. Okay. For the routing also, it will ask something. Always give y. If it is asking any question. So it will take uh, two, three minutes to compile. So what it happened? Whenever you are running, running this command, what it will do, right? Uh, hmm. So this uh, command uh, will convert uh, Angular uh, files to Angular files to browser uh, under a uh, standable understandable uh, javascript uh, css uh, and uh, html files okay so your web browser chrome is web browser right what it will understand uh, your chrome will understand only web technologies those are html css javascript this browser is not able to understand uh, your angular okay that's what we are running the command what is that command ng servo once you're running this command uh, it will be saying right so I am going to be compiler. Okay. So compiled successfully. So it is saying about uh, now open your local host 4200. Now you need to be open your local host 4200. So copy this path. Copy this path. Go to the address bar. Let me close up. Paste here. Simply paste here. <coughs> Okay, so Angular is working. So by this, uh, we can able to say your Angular application is uh, working. Clear? Next, sometime back we have installed the Node Visual Studio Code. What is the purpose of Visual Studio Code? Where you can able to write a code. Simply open Visual Studio Code. Open a Visual Studio Code. Okay. So I want to open this uh, application in the Visual Studio Code. So simply go to the, so previous, uh, it will open. Uh, so previous, uh, whatever you open previous, it will open. Go to the file, open a folder. Which folder we need to be used team? So just now we created a, <laughs> something right so we need to be open that one okay so go to the wherever you created in the angular angular b14 examples uh, angular example two this is my application select a folder select a folder you able to see yes here uh, we can able to notice uh, some files okay so I will explain about that the folder structure. So see here, here you can able to notice the app folder. In the app folder, you can able to notice the component. So here you can able to see right Angular ex2 app is running something something. So that is coming from here. Okay. So we'll do one thing. Let me select all this content remove. Add your name. Okay. Let me add. We can see trainings. Just to save it. Add the name and save it. Okay, sir. Can you explain how it is? See, once you open, you can able to see like this. Click on yes, sir. It will expand. Now click on the app. It will expand. Go to the app component HTML page. Go to the app component HTML page. Okay. So type we can see trainings. So it will be compiled. Once you are typing now, this is the previous compilation. This is the current compilation. So come to the browser. Able to notice? We can see trainings. Yes, I can able to notice. 
ओके क्लियर एनी क्वेश्चन अप टू हियर स्वाति पवन राम बलराम एनी क्वेश्चन okay open from here so i need to be go to my application folder d colon so d next copy directory or main directory like this you need to be go. so instead of going there swati you can able to open from here clear so now okay. which is the command to run ng ng sir what is that command ng ng server ng server so what this command will do hmm Yes, what what this command will do? It will be convert your Angular Angular files to Angular. browser understandable HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Because your web browser, this is your web browser, right? It will understand only web technology, which are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So browser will not understand other than this. Okay. So now it is running. So earlier it is asking some question, right? It will ask sometimes. Sometimes it will not ask. If it is asking, give the why. Otherwise, no need to give anything. okay so it will take hardly 2 3 minutes to compile what it will do it will compile all your things next once a project is open in the visual studio code so instead of visual studio code you can able to utilize the notepad also no issue you can able to use the eclipse you can able to use the anything okay no need to worry so here the recommended is everybody in the company using the visual studio code so here i'm saying about the vkc trainings <clears throat> okay once you created application this is the folder structure so what about this folder structure can i see yes okay so first it contains dot codes no need to worry about all these dot codes leave about that card next it is contain the node modules so if you expand this node modules lot of files are there able to notice so these are the predefined code okay so angular was angular having some predefined syntaxes are not from where it will become so that will become from the node modules okay so see here compile successfully my application is running okay so now take a heading uh, angular uh, application uh, folder structure so i will explain about the javascript typescript from the tomorrow so now we are understanding uh, we are working about what type of application angular application so we need to be construct a angular a platform clear so we are going to work on this top of angular that's why we need to be construct a base our base is the angular okay if directly if i start with html css then you can able to understand only html css so from where we need to be start we need to create a angular application from this angular application only we can able to from this angular application only we can able to work with your javascript or typescript okay so today let us see the complete setup and folder structure hmm. what is the first folder what is the first folder node underscore modules okay so these folders will be adapted you so not by today itself everyone no anybody having the confusion or anything doubt so it will take at least a week okay to adapt you you to be adapt okay but just to be understand just to be understand how to create a project to next what is the folder structure okay so here i'm having the node modules what are these node modules so see here once you are expanding here you can able to see all these are the libraries so all these are each and every one is the one library so these library provide a syntax to work with angular application okay node modules node modules provide syntax 
to develop to develop node models provide a syntax to develop angular application angular application so here i forgot to say node modules are libraries provide syntax to develop your angular application okay so our node models are the libraries these node models provide a syntax to develop angular application clear about first folder okay next what is the next folder so what are the libraries we do not need to worry okay next folder is the src folder okay next one is the src src is nothing but a source src is nothing but a source folder where developer can able to develop a application src is nothing but a source folder developer develop angular application okay here you need to be develop your angular application hmm. so our src contains what src contains expand na app assets app and assets index.html so re, no need to worry about other things what it contains app folder next assets folder next next index dot html okay here will create components the purpose of app folder is create a component component is nothing but creating a feature creating a feature component is nothing but a feature okay in amazon you are having the login right that is nothing but one feature logout right that is nothing but one more feature so where you are going to create a feature app folder so app folder where you are going to be right so what is the purpose of asset folder here add images okay so you want to add some images to our application or not okay so see here in my application i'm having some images or not here these icons okay so trainings our logo where to be add in the assets folder in the assets so here i need to be add a images okay as often it is having any folder no no so see here let me create a folder called images so tomorrow if i have any any images to be added in my project where i need to be add inside of images i will add okay if i want to create or work as a developer where in the app folder i need to be work it okay next what about this index.html what about this index.html okay angular application contains contains only one html page that is that is index.html page so angular is called singular singular page application so our angular is calling as a single page application so any questions on this one node models and src folder are you clear well ram ram anil smati pravin pavan nagin any questions jani no sir clear smati what are the purpose of this folder you are saying something i am not able to hear you sorry are you clear this node models and src folder yeah okay so node models are the libraries these provide a syntax to develop your application next one is the uh, src folder hi. yeah jani 
<clears throat> I have one question. Uh, you're saying uh, in the Angular application is uh, there is only one HTML page. Hmm. Okay, so for example, my application have a different layout. Hmm. Okay. okay. Hmm. So one for the different uh, clients, one for different clients. So that are handled by the HTML page. Okay, so I uh, I can handle of these kind of the layout. Okay. So in that case, I think we can add multiple page. No, so Angular is single page only. So even now, see here, here I'm expanding. Here also you can able to see app dot compound HTML, right? But this is not a pure HTML page. Okay. So you are saying about you are having some other HTML pages. So but those HTML having the head section, HTML mm. head and body, no. Okay. So entire okay. application will be loaded here. Okay, Angular is single page application. It is having only one HTML page. But what about this app dot HTML page? It's not a pure HTML page. Okay, once we are running the command called ng server. Okay, ng server. This command hmm. will be convert your file, this HTML file to JavaScript file. That will be hmm. referred to here app hyphen root. Clear? App root. Yeah, app root. root. So okay. it will be all these components will be converted to javascript to files and it will be loaded inside of app root so even if you have the hundred of component HTML also okay so in case hmm. according to this the app root is only one time in our angular application correct only one okay Clear? okay okay so here the team the question is so from the journey uh I have some other HTML pages. You are saying about single HTML pages, but this is not a pure HTML page. This content just will be loaded inside of this index.html page only. Okay, that's what here also we can able to add. So let me add some H2 welcome. Okay, welcome. Okay, so let me show you here. Okay, so it will be compiler. Okay, it will be compiler. So once it is a compiler, welcome able to see the welcome under vkc trainings okay mm. so it is compiling and loaded so welcome means it is from the index.html in the index.html app component it is loaded okay? okay not only app component any component hundreds of component html files will be loaded here is the place so in the src folder you are having only index.html the angular application contains only one html page that is the index.html because of this only one page we are simply calling as a single page application remaining all are a component those are not a pure html files okay if anybody wants that point please take it. remaining are a component remaining are components not a pure html pages okay so after the src i am having next folder what is the next folder so leave about uh, these things so next one is the angular.json so the next one is angular.json hmm. what is the purpose of angular.json so currently you are creating which file which application angular application right that angular specific configuration will be here okay so as a developer all you already i told you right src is the folder where you can able to write a code remaining or you just know it that's it you are not going to change anything just to have an idea that's it so angular.json contains angular application specific configuration that's it angular application specific configuration you are using angular application now that specific configuration it is having okay next package.json and package log.json so two files with the same name right see here okay so package.json package log.json both are the same but a small references are different okay small references are different so your package log.json contains node models here you are having the node models right these specific urls it will have okay so package.json contains the your application specific versions okay see the current version of angular what is my current version of angular 15 so what is the current version of rxjs 7.5 okay it will have the your application specific versions okay next 
what is the command to compile a angular application swati what is the which is command you are using ng sir ng sir so see here are you able to notice the line number 6 ng sir yes so when i run this ng sir then only my application is converted so your package dot json contains two things what are those one is the commands next one is the dependencies one is the command <coughs> next one is the dependencies either it is the mm. dependencies or div dependence both are same okay so next one is the okay, so we can package, i have one question hmm, package dot json uh, just go to package dot json file okay so first let us take the definition it contains okay. it contains commands and application specific 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 dependencies your application specific dependencies it contains a commands and which commands the commands it can able to start application build or watch or you want to test it okay so this ng server sometime back we are running this ng server this sir ng server is coming from this file ng server and dependencies hmm. take this point yeah jan okay so we are uh, writing the command in the uh, packet or json just show, uh, please open it hmm. okay so we are declaring start is the ng server so, so we, we are not declaring rename it okay we are not declaring uh, so this uh, is created by the angular this okay. is created by the angular, angular. but uh, my so, question is we can rename it no no, no we can't be able to rename once you rename oh. it then how angular is thinking this is the so and so command hmm. okay. okay so for example your name is jani if i want to call i need to be called if i say sai means can i rename it but in the zoom it can be able to rename but uh, you can't be able to activate because it's a different command okay so okay. here we are having the angular setup jan do you have the idea about how to set up angular mm -hmm. you have the idea right yeah, yeah okay then it will be good so before you are joining we are discussing that one so team the question is can i able to rename all these things no that's what i'm saying now as a developer you should be work inside of the src but just to know about the idea what and all these files node models are the libraries src where developer to write angular.json it is contained your angular application specific configuration can i change it no you no need to change it next package.json so it will contain uh, some commands next uh, under dependencies so what are the dependencies you are using which version of angular means uh, where to be checked here what is my current version 15 version sir can i use the developer 12 version for example i want to learn it 10 version okay so lower versions are supported okay if you want to go for the angular 2 angular 4 angular 6 angular 9 angular 10 so all these versions are supported by the angular 15 okay so you always good to have the highest version okay so it will have some dependencies these are the version dependencies next package log.json what it contains again dependencies plus here you can able to notice some node model references here you can able to notice some node model references so these node models are nothing but here you are having the node models right so in the node models you are having the files or folders so these the folders references these are the references so if you want to copy this path you can able to copy this path so just let me copy this the http url only copy this path go to the address bar paste this path type and download it will download some gif file okay it is downloading gif files all these files are already added here clear same files only will be here okay so you no need to download all these files will be here okay sir why so but all these files are here why it is having the references definitely references are required without references how i can able to say already i'm having the angular as a latest version why in the package.json i'm having the references so on so specific version so these are the references okay these are the references so anytime you refer you remove this node models right so anytime by unexpectedly you remove now so from this you can able to see the reference 
okay so node modules angular developed kit architect so that is the reference here so next node model so on so all the references will be here node models so on so build rxjs rxjs library specific url will be here clear hmm. now tell me what package log.json contains package hyphen log.json hmm. what it contains contains application application specific 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 dependencies application specific dependencies and node module references application specific dependencies and node module references clear balram ram swati any questions no okay so first we will create a, today we'll complete the setup and after completion of this session uh, so swati and uh, ram balram everyone please try to complete the setup okay johnny so this is also you create your setup in your local mission uh. so daily we'll have the interview questions uh, daily i will give you a labs so please practice that labs any questions any doubts please let us notice okay so include that project also okay so johnny you may uh, you join little delay right uh, please wait at the end of the session uh, i will explain what we have uh, discussed before you join okay hmm. next what are the files next if you observe uh, three files with the same name two files with the same name ts uh, three files three files with the same name so leave about this readme it is content the application specific information so once you purchase any item they will give your application right so my application name it was so and so so and so about your application that's it no need to worry about this readme it is content application specific information okay so next you are having the three files with the same name ts configuration okay so ts configuration so ts configuration is nothing but a, your application using the typescript right it contain the typescript specific configurations you are having the typescript okay your typescript application specific configurations all these files are the same purpose just to have it so ts configurations ts config files hmm. contains application specific uh, your application specific application application oh, sorry contains uh, not application uh, type script uh, specific uh, configuration so it contains uh, your type script specific uh, configuration ts config files it contains uh, TypeScript specific configuration. <coughs> okay, so where is TypeScript script? You are Angular using a TypeScript. You are Angular using a TypeScript. TypeScript was developed on the top of a JavaScript. Okay, on the top of your JavaScript. These TypeScript having some versions on the configuration that will be mentioned in the TypeScript configuration files. Okay, so this is the folder structure. okay so tomorrow session what we will do right uh, we'll create a component uh, and we'll continue the session we'll create a component we'll bind the data and we'll see about uh, we'll start with the javascript uh, data types and the javascript comments uh, we'll start the javascript and typescript uh, okay from tomorrow so any questions today today we have completed the setup and seen about the folder structure <laughs> okay so balram swati anil ram so johnny please uh, try to complete uh, this setup today okay so while you are having any issues in the setup any questions anytime please reach out to me okay call to me or text me or send a screenshot i will reply okay so any questions balram jetin pavan praveen yeah. again swati good right yeah. okay yeah 
So Tim, you can drop off.